Good morning my loves. Welcome to St Lucia. I thought I would do a little day vlog today just to show you guys life at Sugar Peach. But it's pretty um, relaxed so I thought any more than a day would not be very interesting for you but I thought I'd just give you a little taster of what I've been up to this week because it seemed silly not to vlog at all whilst I was away. But I'll show you guys the room a bit later when the kind of sun's up properly. But yeah, we are up. We get up quite early here just to make the most of the daytime. And yeah, we're gonna head down to breakfast and then go and lie on the beach basically. That's what we've been doing every day. And it's been amazing. And I've been doing a lot of reading. I'm already panicking about going home again. So yes. We're almost ready to go and hit the beach. I'll show you my outfit today. I probably should have vlogged at the beginning of the week because I looked, I had more put together outfits. Although I've got a nice one for tomorrow. But this is what I'm wearing today. I do love this shirt though. This is a free people shirt. You can like tie it up or like button it up. It has like a wrap thing at the bottom or you can just wear it loose like this. And I love it. And then I've got my shorts on. So nothing crazy, I've got a Janny or Ganny um, bikini on as well. So this is my current book, which is Say Nothing, A True Story of Murder and Memory in Northern Ireland by Patrick Radden Keith. It is obviously non-fiction and um, it is about, it's kind of simultaneously about the disappearance of Jean McConville um, and also the IRA and the actions of the IRA during and around her disappearance is obviously kind of linked. Um, so it's obviously also about the troubles in general and it's been very interesting so far. I don't know if you're familiar with that period of history, whether it would add anything new so far. I wonder if we'll get back to Jean McConville at some point. And then these are the books I've read so far this week read Wolf Hall which I started off kind of worried that I wasn't going to enjoy and then end up ended up being gripped by it about 50 pages in so really really liked that and thought it was like a very accomplished book and then I read Bel Canto which I enjoyed but thought had like a few a few problems um, but I did enjoy it and then I read Annihilation which I really enjoyed and I thought the atmosphere of that was really good I couldn't put it down basically so those are the books I've read already. I completely forgot to film my breakfast. <laughs> it's mostly me. Food and some yogurt. Thing. Um, nothing much to report. Um, I finished Say Nothing, which in the end I was a bit, I like, I thought it was interesting and thorough um, in lots of ways and um, I'm glad it's kind of fleshed out my knowledge about that period of time, but I don't know, I had some qualms about it that I will show you in my video. But then I started Elena Ferrante's my brilliant friend is it brilliant which i'm enjoying i'm not very far into it at the moment but um this lady who had had a few cocktails <laughs> but um she came up to me as soon as i started reading it i was like oh my goodness you're reading my brilliant friend i love that book so it's got good reviews from the people on the beach then we came upstairs and used upstairs <laughs> up the hill basically um and used the light to do it take a few pics um because we're usually up back in the room after dark and then I filmed a little get ready with me, which um, for this look, which you will see before or after this vlog, I'm not sure when. It's just a nice little holiday get ready with me. And so unfortunately the light has gone mostly down. I didn't show you the room in the light like I kind of wanted to. Here is the beautiful dusky sky anyway. 
beautiful as that. And I'll show you the outside before it goes completely down. And our sunbeds, they don't get the light all day sunbed, so that's why we kind of don't sunbathe up here. And yes, we've got a big piton overlooking us as well. Right, I've undergone a transformation since I came inside because Zach was finishing his book and I didn't want to disturb him. But this is our sitting room space. There's the top of Zach. But this is the bathroom. Isn't her sinks the best? Got a chair here, which is actually from the desk that I have been using. And then got a little loo at the end. I love a loo room. We're gonna have that in our bathroom in our house. And a shower. Enormous shower. And this is what I'm wearing this evening. I'm wearing this kind of duster jacket thing that I've got from free that I had from free people. I can't remember how long ago I bought this, but I absolutely love it. Just with like an all black um, outfit underneath, just a t-shirt and some black shorts. I'm wearing the hotel slippers. <laughs> and then this is our gorgeous bedroom with this enormous great bed. Got lots and lots of wardrobe space here. And then that obviously leads out onto the outside spaces. So we have just come back from dinner and it was really, really nice. Um, they do a barbecue every Friday it was just fun, they had live music and I feel like this is going to be really controversial but as a general rule, not a hard and fast rule, but as a general rule, I don't like live music. If you're in a pub, I would truly rather not listen to live music but the band tonight was great and I was thoroughly enjoying. So it's been an all round good evening, probably one of our nicest evenings yet. I've only got one more. But yes, I'm going to get ready for bed and then go to sleep. I don't know if there's anything of note in this vlog. I hope that there is. Um, but thank you guys for watching today. Hope you enjoyed having a little glimpse of St Lucia. See you soon. Bye.